Hey everyone, how are you today? Um, today we're going to talk about the Snap-on computer that we have in the shop. Um, this is a uh, heavy duty diagnostic tool from Snap-on. This is a, the, the Pro version, Pro Link, um, the Edge, okay? It comes with the master kit, uh, the round plug, and the, uh, the triangle, the rectangle with the 16 pin plug for Volvo trucks and some of the other trucks. But um, it's brand new. Uh, we just got it um, for one of our other new, newest locations. Um, what I like about this particular unit is that um, it's, it's quick, um, uh, it's light, everything's in the box, everything is safe and secure. Um, it's very tough. It's, I mean, it, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, built very good. I mean, I am very impressed with the machine, um, with the tool itself. Um, so if you look, um, we, 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 you, know, we you, you can drop it and nothing, nothing's going to happen to it. I mean, very solid, solid diagnostic tool. Um, whoever came up with that idea, I think, you know, the, the way the way it's designed it, I, it's, it's great. This is our fourth one that we have uh, in our shop. Um, so uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the diagnostics tool, this particular one, snap on, and, um, and we're going to hook that, hook, hook that to a, uh, this is a 2022 uh, Kenworth a T680. Basically what we're going to do when trucks come in uh, or on roadside services, you take this tool with you, 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 know, you hook up to the truck, turn the ignition on, and then scan the truck. Now, a good thing about this particular diagnostic tool is that it would also do medium duty trucks. Again, there's, there's multiple subscriptions you would have to get, but um, this particular tool as is, like if you wanted to go uh, get a, a brand new one with all the subscriptions, uh, I'd say between fifteen to $16,000. Um, now, we, like I said, um, we, we don't mind it because uh, when you need it, this is just like awesome. It'll, it does regens um, for you, it'll clear the codes, it'll do um, injected programming, it will do, uh, uh, give you multiple uh, codes, and then it also has the uh, uh, ProLink, uh, like a Mitchell One uh, diagnostics, uh, where you can go in there and put your username and, and the password, and when you have a code in there, say you have a code in there for a uh, uh, crankcase uh, sensor, right? It, you hit that code in there, it'll take you directly how to properly uh, troubleshoot, uh, remove and replace the part, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and really quick show you how we're gonna hook this up. Basically, you know, you make sure the tops are all, you know, tight and all secured. Um, good, oh, one, one great thing about this particular diagnostic tool you don't have to carry a charger with it. I mean, there is a charger and it comes with the charger, but you don't need it. As soon as you plug this into the seven, um, nine, nine pin plug, it powers the computer. So that just, that's, all, that's all it is right here. I can do any roadside service, quickly give me the codes and, and, or whatever I need. This is, this is great for it, okay? As opposed to the uh, laptops and all of that. So basically what you do is you plug this in, same one way, excuse me, nine-way plug right there, round plug, you turn the ignition on. Okay, and there's a power on button to, to my right bottom corner. So you just wait, you know, let it do its, its thing right now. Um, and there is a check engine light on there, so we're gonna see what the check engine light is for. So, um, so first thing you do, um, there's different settings and there's, there's customer support and now a button's there, but we usually just go to vehicle scan. It's that simple. You want to do a medium duty or you want to do heavy duty. So you go to the heavy duty. This is a, uh, like I said, 2022 Camboard T680. So we, this is a heavy duty truck. So we're going to go directly to the uh, heavy duty scan. <clears throat> so, Depending on trucks, different make and models, um, this particular one will do any trucks. It'll do Peterbilt trucks, it'll do Volvo, it'll do Mac, it'll do internationals, you know, Freightliners, and this is a Kenworth again. 
So it, you know, it'll do, it'll the Hino trucks, I mean, any trucks you have, this will pull the colds out and it'll tell you what you need to go with the goats, you know? Um, so, <clears throat> if the, uh, so if customer came in uh, with um, engine issues, you would hit engine issues. If the customer came in with ABS sensors, then you go, you go to the brakes uh, system ECU, um, a Bendix ABS, so you can go to the um, instrument cluster chassis ECU. There's multiple different ones. You can also select like um, transmission and all of that. But for 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 the sake of uh, uh, this video, we're just gonna go to the engine. When you hit the engine, it actually pulls up all the codes. It'll pull up all the codes, and um, it'll tell you if it, you know, if you, if you if you haven't popped the hood open yet, you know, haven't got a chance to look at it. Um, It'll also tell you what is loading, you know, so it was loading Cummins software. So, so that mean that tells you that this particular uh, truck has a Cummins engine. So right now, basically what you have is it tells you what your truck is. As you can see, it gives you the full VIN number. So if you know what parts you need, you, you quickly, you know, pick up the phone and you call the uh, Kenworth with the last six of the VIN number. And you, and you get the you get the parts right on it, okay? Um, and sometimes you know some of these trucks, older trucks, the decals are kind of you know faded away. You're just looking for you know. Then you gotta go to the folder. You know you don't have to do all of that. This is this is directly right there. What you need to know about the truck. So this one here, first uh, code, it's it's telling you that uh, variable geometry turbocharger actuator software. So it's just it's an active code, okay? It found one active code in there. Okay, and then there's a bunch of inactive codes. So he's got, you know, we got, we see, I see a outlet knock sensor, particulate sensor, depth quality, and you got a bunch of different ones. So I'm not worried about those codes, but that just tells me that at some point those codes came on. Okay, now the one I'm going to be worried about is this one here variable geometry turbocharger actuator software. So OEM code for it, it would be 5177. Okay, that simple, right? Um, now you could go uh, down here where it says clear all fold codes. You could do that, and then you can start the truck back up, see if the codes will come back on. Okay. Um, so you go to test. Okay, you hit Cummins, and you just gotta read. Make sure you know to avoid any personal injury. You gotta make sure you know all the safety precautions are are taken care of. You know you gotta check the wheels. You know make sure the trucks in neutral. Okay. And you know, if it's in motion, you get you know you got you know you really watch out for those things, you know. So right here, as you can see, um, you can see the first thing that pops out is you know a bunch of these newer newer trucks. They have a lot of these uh, regen problems, right? They're they're broke down on the side of the road. Track will not go uh, more than five miles an hour. Um, you get there, and and it says that it needs a parked regeneration, right? The first thing you do, you clear the codes, right? Just just. Take, I, what I would do is I, I, I would take pictures of the codes before and then clear the codes and come up here where it says after treatment DPF regeneration. So you boom, you hit that. It's, it's that, that this, is, this is why I love it. You know, it's just, it's that simple. Again, you have to make sure you read the warnings, you know, just basically saying that, you know, keep a fire extinguisher nearby in case of something catches on fire while the truck is doing the regen it just says make sure the trucks on uh, re regeneration you know it just there's gonna be high temperatures and all kinds of uh, so you just gotta you know make sure you're, you're aware of all the you know all of that boom right here what it's saying what it's telling me now it's saying that the truck is not running okay as soon as you run the truck it'll be um, roughly around 400 rpms above 400 rpm and all you gotta do just hit the start button that's it that's all you do it's, it's that simple like i said i mean any of you uh any of the mechanics out there any of the roadside companies out there uh, just trying to get into the business i highly recommend this and i know it's a lot of money but in the long run it pays off instead of having these different laptops uh, you go in there, you're trying to scroll through, and, and now you have a charger. Now you're trying to, you know, you were very busy the night before. You forgot to charge the uh, uh, laptop, and now you're out there, and you don't have the charger with you, or you have the charger with you, but, you know, you don't know how to charge it, or, or, or somehow you have a um, power inverter. Now you're charging the, uh, the, the laptop, and it just, 
it's just now you, now you need more cables. Uh, I don't know, just I think in the long run, you want something very, um, you want something straightforward. Okay, this will just, you hook up straight to the uh, nine pin plug, the round plug. You go into heavy duty and you go into test, clear the coats, run regen. That's what you want. Okay, like I said, right now, as you can see, my ignition key switch is on and it's charging. That's how, that's how simple it is. So, and then, you know, going down the, you know, going down the list, you'll have reset, um, DPF, um, parameters. You're going to have after treatment, DEF, uh, system, there's, there's all kinds of different tests that it will want you to do. You can do injector resets, fuel resets. Um, you can do uh, VGT actuator installation and cal. This is actually big. Okay. Um, a lot of companies would have to call a dealership um, before they install the new actuator onto the turbo on a Cummins. But here you don't have to. You have a you have a, um, a way to do it yourself. From, you know, in the shop, you can save that money for the customer if you can do it yourself. Okay. I mean, there's I mean, there's just so much in here. Really, I I say I'm. Um, pretty happy you know this like i said this is our fourth one already uh and then there's different calibrations you can do again you know that that'll depend from trucks to trucks you know like because some comments will have a lot more parameters some comments engines won't have that you know there's there's, there's volvo engines they'll have their own parameters so it, it's gonna depend you know um but then you can right here you, you're gonna see your uh, gauges everything about the truck you know Let's just say, uh, let's just take the uh, temperatures, right? This will pretty much tell you all the temperatures, all about your truck, you know? Say you're in the middle of a job and you don't know if your knock sensor is working or not. But one way to go in here, make sure the temperatures are good. Make sure, you know, your temperatures are going up properly. So you can see all of that here, right there. All right, thank you. Um, this is gonna be the end of the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, let us know. And just remember, we are not sponsored by Snap-on. Um, this is just we, you know, this is what we recommend and this is what we suggest. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, comment. Thank you.